Hey folks, someone sent me this video, and this was on TV, I think it was John Stossel was interviewing this guy, and he's a very angry atheist, and someone said, you're not going to believe it, they're talking about Santa Syndrome on the news, and sure enough, they asked this atheist why he's an atheist, and he brings up, <laughs> he brings up Santa Claus, so check this out, watch. Nicole may be an atheist because her parents are atheists. So you see that? Uh, basically, they brainwashed the kid to be an atheist because the dad's an atheist. Um, so watch this. Watch what the guy says. He's The atheist guy here seems very angry, and he brings up Santa Claus. So what happened in his childhood, I guarantee you, he found out there's no Santa, and he's still holding a grudge. Matter of fact, click right below this video or click the annotation, and you're going to see proof and evidence that Santa Claus leads to atheism. Watch. Her father rejected the idea of the divine power long ago. How do you know there isn't a God? Because you can't prove there is. I mean, But I can't prove there isn't. Oh, no, 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 no. My proof there is no God is you can't bring him forth. You see but God. there could be a God, the invisible presence that creates. Right, and it could be Santa Claus is coming. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? He's got Santa syndrome. Oh, we got to find a cure for this. Watch this. Um, he's The atheist is not able to prove that atheism is true or accurate. And John Stossel says, well, how do you know? And he goes, well, there, you know, there could be a Santa Claus. Oh, my gosh. Watch. This is Santa syndrome. Watch. The atheist in this news event has Santa syndrome. Father rejected the idea of a divine power long ago. How do you know there isn't a God? Because you can't prove there is. I mean, but I can't see, prove there isn't. Oh, no, 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 no. My proof there is no God is you can't bring him forth. You see but God. could be a God, the invisible presence that creates. Right, and it could be Santa Claus is coming to town. You <laughs> oh, no, it's over. That guy has Santa syndrome. You see that? What does Santa Claus have to do with atheism? It has everything to do with atheism. Listen, let me rewind this. Watch. The atheist says he's an atheist because of Santa Claus. What? No God is you can't bring him forth. You see but God. could be a God, the invisible presence that creates. Right, and it could be Santa Claus is coming to town. You want... Oh, no, you are looking at someone... I am diagnosing this person with Santa syndrome. Now, you've got to go to... Uh, let me type this in real quick. Hold on. I'm going to give you guys, you got to subscribe to this guy's channel. It's great. Okay, Mr. Bell Rocks. Okay, here's his channel. Go to Mr. Bell Rocks' channel. I'm going to put the annotation here. And he's got a video here titled Santa Syndrome. And, and it's called Santa Syndrome. You should really look for it. And he talks about how um, there comes a moment in a child's life when they find out there's no Santa. And we have proven, ladies and gentlemen, that, that when they're told there's no Santa Claus, sometimes it triggers the Santa syndrome. So go ahead and click below this video to watch the Santa syndrome video. Santa syndrome is just running rampant through the world. You know what? Let's remember this. Friends don't let friends believe in Santa because it could possibly lead to atheism.